Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on automorphism in group theory. Okay, so first of all, uh, what is automorphism? Okay, so let G comma star be a group. That means G is a group with respect to the binary operation star. Okay, now F is a function mapping F from G to G. Okay, here mapping from G to same group that is G. That means a function F mapping from G to itself is said to be automorphism if and only if it satisfies three properties. One is F is one to one function. Second one is F is onto function. Third one is F is homomorphism. Okay. By satisfying these three properties or three conditions, hence we can say that F is automorphism on a group G. Okay. Next one, uh, automorphism of a group G is denoted by capital A suffix G or a AUT of G. That means automorphism that can be performed on the group G. Okay. Next one. What are the three conditions or three properties we have to satisfy to get F is a automorphism on group C? So first one is F is 1 to 1. So what is the meaning of 1 to 1? Okay. 1 to 1 means for any element in a group G that is mapped to unique element in G dash. Okay. So here G dash is also G. Okay. For every element in G. Okay. That is mapped to unique element in also G. That means we are taking two elements in G. That is A comma B. Okay. So that is mapped to the same elements in the same group. That is A is mapped to A and B is mapped to B. Here A image is F of A. That means A is mapped to A. B image is F of B. That is nothing but B. Okay. So this is called as one to one function. Okay. Now we are taking any two elements. A and B belongs to G. Let us take F of A is equal to F of B. So what is F of A? A is mapped to F of A and B is mapped to F of B through the function F. Okay. So then B. So then F of A is equal to A. F of B is equal to B. That means A is mapped to F of A in the same group. B is mapped to F of B in the same group. Hence, we can say that F is 1 to 1 function. Okay. Next one. Second one is F is onto. Okay. What is onto function for every element? For every element in, for example, this is G, this is G dash. What is onto function? For every element in G dash, there exists one element in G. Okay. So that is called as onto function. Okay. For every element in G dash that is mapped to that has a pre-image in one element in G. So then it is a called as a uh, onto function. So for example, we are taking one element in G. Okay. So for this element, then there exists at least one element in the first group that is G, that is A. So such that F of A is equal to B. For every element in G dash, there exists at least one element in G. Okay, here G dash, here G, here G dash is also G. For every element in G, there exists at least one element in G, then it is called as onto function. Okay, here B is there for every element B belongs to G, then there exists at least one element A belongs to G, such that 
we can write it as f of a is equal to b. That means b pre-image is f of a. b pre-image pre is f of b. a image is f of a. That is the difference. a image is f of a. b pre-image is b. Okay. So, hence we can say that f is onto function. Okay. Next third one is f is a homomorphism. Okay. Let us take two elements in G. Okay. We, with respect here G is a group with respect to the operation star. Here G comma star. Let us take two elements A and B in G with respect to the operation star. So then we can write it as f of a star b is equal to f of a star f of b. So this is the condition we have to satisfy for f is homomorphism. So f of a star b is equal to f of a into f of b. So here a and b belongs to g and f of a f of b also belongs to g. a image is f of a, b image is f of b. So, f of a star b can be written as f of a star f of b. Here, a comma b belongs to g. f of a f of b means a image is f of a, b image is f of b. That are also belongs to g. Because this is same group and this is also same group. Okay. So, f of a and f of b belongs to g. Hence, we can say that f is homomorphism. Okay. By satisfying these three conditions or properties, we can say that F is a automorphism on group G that can be denoted by A suffix G or AUT of G. Okay. Next, this is the example for automorphism. Let C comma plus be a group. C is a group with respect to the operation plus a function F mapping F from C to C. Okay, a function mapping from C to same group C. Okay, here the function F is defined by F of Z is equal to Z bar for all Z belongs to C. Show that F is an automorphism on group C. Okay, for proving the function F on uh, C, automorphic function F is an automorphism on group C, it satisfies three properties. First one is one to one, second one is on to, third one is homomorphism on the same group. Okay, first one is uh, one to one function. Okay, we are taking any two elements for any two elements z1 comma z2. Here z1 and z2 belongs to group C. Okay, let us take f of z1 is equal to f of z2. Here z1 image is f of z1 z2 image is f of z2. Okay. What is f of z1? The function f of z is equal to z bar. Substitute z1. So we are getting z1 bar is equal to substitute z2. We are getting z2 bar. Okay. Applying negation on both sides. Then we are getting z1 is equal to z2. Okay. Here z1 image is f of z1 z2 image is f of z2. Okay. For every element in G, there is a unique element in G dash where G dash is also a G in this case. Okay. So then z1 image is f of z1, z2 image is f of z2. Okay. z1 is mapped to z1 through the function f. Z2 is mapped to Z2 through the function F. So that we are saying that Z1 is equal to Z2. That means F is 1 to 1 function on C. Next one. Second one, F is on to. Okay. For every element in group C, then there exists an element in C also. Then it is called as a on to function. For every element Z belongs to C, then there exists z belongs then there exists an element in the same group z belongs to c such that f of z bar here f of a is equal to b we are right in the same way f of z bar is equal to z bar is equal to z 
that is nothing but f is on to function okay so for every element z belongs to c here this is also z this is also z for every element in z then there exists an element in c also ikkada c is also in c that is also z such that we have to write it as f of a is equal to b here a is nothing but z z is nothing but z bar f of z bar is equal to b b is also z bar a is same b is the same f of a is equal to b a is z b is z in this place z means that is z bar z bar is equal to z bar that is also z so then f is on to function okay next third one is f of f is homomorphism homomorphism means f of a star b is equal to f of a into f of b here star is nothing but binary operation on g here binary operation is plus so that f of z1 plus z2 substitute z1 plus z2 in this one we are getting z1 plus z2 whole bar that can be written as z1 bar plus z2 bar a plus b whole bar is equal to a bar plus b bar that is z1 bar plus z2 bar what is z1 bar f of z1 bar plus what is z2 bar f of z2 bar okay so that can be written as f of z1 plus z2 okay f of z1 plus z2 so therefore f is said to be homomorphism on group g f of z1 plus z2 is equal to f of z1 plus f of z2 in the same way f of a plus b is equal to f of a plus f of b okay here f of z1 plus z2 is equal to z1 plus z2 whole bar here here is equal to z1 bar plus z2 bar z1 bar is nothing but f of z1 z2 bar is nothing but f of z2 so that f is homomorphism on c by satisfying one to one on to and homomorphism hence we can say that f is automorphism on group uh, c on group c with respect to the operation plus so this is the introduction about the automorphism thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so dibbela srinivasarao thank you